Dan, how do you view that point? It's a very good point. I um, thought we had a couple of great chances first half. We had we created quite a few good chances during the game. They are obviously a, a threat. You know, they've just beat you in Sheffield Wednesday 2 0 at home. They're, they're up there. And uh, we more on, did ourselves justice. Overall, the first half, were you a bit disappointed with that? No, not really. To be honest, we still created three chances before we uh, before we got into it. Very, very good chances. Uh, Meepo's had a couple. Ellis had one. And you come to a place like Barnsley, and with a, with a new new group, new developing group. So no, I'm not disappointed. I'm, I'm pleased that we come here. We could have won at the end. I thought the the, the, some, the impact of the substitutions were, were very good. And uh, that gives us that flexibility to be able to change things when we can. Bringing Dan in at left wing back today and, and dropping Mal, what was the thinking there? Yeah, for me, Mal's, Mal's done very well for the football club. Last two games, he's been poor. He, I've got a competitive squad, guys, and you're going to keep chucking this down, chucking that down. We'll do that. I'll make the decisions that I think is right for the football club. There's a, there's a lot of experts out there that pick different teams than me, and, and I get it, and I'm no expert, but all I know is, is that the group are very much together. Players will be coming in, players are still working match minutes up and uh, we'll work accordingly from that. Was the timing of the subs important and how tricky was that to get right? The well, timing of the subs are yeah, important, we've got five subs now this season so we have to we have to utilise that, it's the first proper opportunity with the window shut in to get the squad to be able to be flexible with changes and, and, and personnel. And they'll grow, Dennis Politics played 14 minutes, I think it is pre-season. We've got to be careful with boys. Dan Butterworth's not had a much minute time. Gavin Mace is now getting to the levels that I need him to be. And you can see the impact that he came on. So, uh, yeah, we we'll keep working away. Is that a sign of what you're capable of, the way you played in so that second we're in, we're in a new division, a high division. And uh, we'll keep adapting, we'll keep improving, we'll keep the foundations strong, we'll keep the, the character in the changing room strong. Do we know with speed bumps in the way? Yes. But if we're, if we're going to be moaning and complaining about getting a point at Barnsley, we're in a bit of trouble, aren't we? You know, they're, they're, they're a team that's going to be in the top six, top ten off for this division. And we're competing on our own in our own against everybody, apart from obviously the Exeter game. Reaction of the fans as well with the equaliser, that shows you just how much it means to yes, them. And we love the fans. Fans are fantastic. They come and support us in the numbers and we keep, keep trying to improve for them. Just lastly then, uh, just, I wanted to ask you about a couple of lads who are not here, a couple of the injured, Brad Walker, Tom Conlon, any news on them at all, can you say? Yeah, they missed the game from injury.